We are blessed this morning to have our speaker. It has been a wonderful moment to have uh, the clergy coming from other branches of Genelib. We dedicated the month of October for their empowerment. Why? Because we want to move together, we want to grow together. And it is also important to note, as they minister, I'm sure the media people are also advertising the churches where they are, the places and the locations. There are some people who call me to ask, do you have a branch in Akuru? I'm sure when Pastor Masharia came, it was recorded. So people are able to see through our online services that we have a branch there. We are blessed to have Pastor Rehab. Um, Pastor Rehab is in charge of a Rodegete branch that is in Kikuyu on the best place now people are running away to from Nairobi when you want to see where people are building out of the city that is the route from Kikuyu all the way to remove that road and Rodegete the church is at Nairobi Dogo yeah it's called Nairobi Dogo that area and we want to thank God because they are among the youngest branches that have begun in our ministry, and we want to thank God for the work they are doing with the Pastor Elliot. So this morning, we are privileged to receive her to come and share the word of God. I'm so delighted when I see sons and daughters in faith, in ministry, also doing the work of God. I'm happy. Nyadona, they are celebrating. They had a weekend with the Pastor Ben. Uh, last weekend and they are so blessed. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. We are going to preach this word. We must reach everyone everywhere, every nation before Jesus comes back. So put your hands together as I receive Pastor Rehab Kerry. God bless you. Let's give a clap to Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that this hour you've given us your servant. And as he, she gets to the word, I declare Jehovah the grace and the anointing to continue flowing upon her. Thank you so much. And we are opening our ears, we are opening our hearts that we may hear what you are giving us through this vessel. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Welcome. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I think we may be seated. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Bishop. Thank you, praise and worship. May the Lord bless you uh, for the great work. I want to give God all the glory and honor for enabling me to be here first and foremost because man plans but God is the one who accomplishes. So I thank God for giving, giving me this day uh, to be here. I also want to acknowledge and really appreciate our bishop. Uh, when I was seated there, I said, it's not, we don't have many men of God sharing their pulpit uh, with others, but we thank God for the mentorship our bishop is giving to us. I really appreciate. May God bless you so much. Amen. I also want to appreciate my friends who came with me, uh, uh, Mary and her two daughters and one, uh, one relative. I thank God for you. Uh, this is great especially when we are talking about kingdom influence. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So thank you so much. I also want to welcome all of you into the house of God and at the feet of Jesus as we listen to him. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I have greetings from my family. Uh, I wouldn't have come with any one of them because all of them are very instrumental in our church. So, Pastor Eriod, uh, Lovett, Shalom, and the rest of the church, 
they say hi. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. They sent me and they prayed for me as I came. As you have been told, my name is Pastor Rehab and I'm pastoring at uh, Jesus New Life Ministry, Kikuyu Rodegete, and we thank God for the far that he has brought us. And I do not want to spend much more time on the introduction. I just want us to go to the word of God uh, so that what God has, kept, has put in my heart, I may be able uh, to finish it within uh, the time that is required. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Amen. Today I'm dealing with the topic of God's kingdom of power. And as I was seated there, I think a new anointing came and I felt, why didn't I not say kingdom's influence? Praise the name of the Lord. But all of them are the same. So we are going to be dealing with God's kingdom of power. And I want all of us to, to realize that as believers, as Christians, we are in a kingdom. Hallelujah. We are in a kingdom. And this kingdom is kingdom of power. Many kingdoms in the world associate themselves, identify with themselves with the much power they have. And no wonder we have kingdoms that call themselves superpower because they identify themselves with the power they have. And you realize that when a kingdom has power, uh, the people of that kingdom, of that nation, they walk in confidence because they know their kingdom has power. Praise the name of the Lord. And even this morning, I was reminding myself, or I was remembering that even a pauper who comes from a kingdom that has power, if they go outside that kingdom, they will all feel, I have power. And they are going to influence the people that are around them. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And our kingdom, the kingdom that we are in as Christians, is a kingdom of power. Hallelujah. And I want to bring it to you that... Uh, the, our king who is our God, our king who is our God, he's the one who has absolute power. The Bible says in, uh, in Psalm 62 verse 11, if it can be brought uh, on the screen, Psalm 62 verse 11, that once I have heard, twice it has been spoken to me, that all power belongs unto God. Hallelujah. I am serving a king whose absolute power is his. Hallelujah. We are in a kingdom where the absolute power is of that king. It is only our king who is bowed down by other kings. Hallelujah. All the other kings, they bow down to our God because he, all the power belongs to him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Something else I want to say is that as human beings, our, our power, when you hear of kingdoms that have power, their power comes from the external. If we talk of superpower nations, they are superpower because of the wealth they have acquired. They, they, they are superpower because of the fame they have. It comes from the external. If somebody says, I am in power, it is because of an external aspect. Hallelujah. But I want to bring it to us that the power of God, the one that he has, it is innate. It is within himself. His nature is power. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God is not powerful because of external things. His nature is power. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I was thinking about an elephant. Let me just give that example. An elephant, an, an elephant, even a baby elephant, when it comes here, because of its nature, it is powerful. Even though it's a child. Even if it's a baby elephant, it has 
power. Because it is his nature to have power. Our God's power is inside him. Hallelujah. It is his nature to be powerful. So wherever he goes, he displays his power. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Our God is powerful. His power does not come from positions. His power does not come from other things that people uh, get power from. And I want to bring to you, in the, when we open the Bible, the very first act that is recorded in the Bible, it displays the power of God. Hallelujah. Can we go to Genesis chapter 1 verse 1? Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. The Bible says, in the beginning, uh -huh, which verb is there? The verb, verb, a doing word. In the beginning, God created. Hallelujah. Power has everything to do with doing. And therefore, the very first thing there is created. The very first verb that was ever recorded in the Bible. Hallelujah. And the Bible says he created the heavens and the earth. The creation of God is not the same creation as human beings. These days we are telling our children, be creative. And when we tell them to be creative, we are telling them that this stool, the way it is, you can mold it in another way. So that we, can, we come up with something new from that. But the creation of God, it is not like that. It is called creatio ex nihilo. That is a Greek word. Is it Greek or Latin? Creatio, creatio ex nihilo. It means creating out of nothing. Praise the name of the Lord. There was nothing. But he was able to create. This is a proof of his internal, innate nature of his power. Praise the name of the Lord. That he can call things that are not to be. Hallelujah. That is our God. That is the king that we bow down to. This kingdom that we are in as Christians. The kingdom and your king who is our God. He has power to call things that are not and they be. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. People create using other things, but God created the earth with nothing. He just spoke and it happened. Hallelujah. Because he possesses all the power. Hallelujah. The absolute power is God's. Hallelujah. God has displayed his other, God has displayed his power in many other ways. The creation that he did in the beginning, in Genesis, even up to today, we see the creation. And I love David because David, he would look at what the earth has and he would praise God. He would give glory to God because of his creation. Praise the name of the Lord. He would say, when I see the stars, the mountains, the valleys, how the, even how the river flows, I, they, dis they display the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. And I also want to say, because of the power of God, look at the person that is next to you. Now, what a wonderful person God created. And I sing a song and say, that even if rain, even if rain rains, the, 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 that is the openings that we have, they do not let the waters get into it. Hallelujah. That is cre creative power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. We are display of his power. Hallelujah. Whatever we see is display of his power. Hallelujah. Ooh, I want to serve this God. I want to serve this king whose work can be displayed and can be seen. God also endowed 
the man of the old, the prophet with power. He endured Moses with power to lead the people of Israel. It is something that happened in history and has never been forgotten up to today. It is how God saved Israel from Egypt. Hallelujah. And it is a display of his power. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Many people will say, that is history. Who knows whether it is mythical. But I want to tell you something. The Bible is not a myth, neither a, fi a, a fiction. Hallelujah. And I want to tell you, this world has have had very, very intelligent people. People who would have said, this Bible is fake. This Bible is not true. But there has never risen one person who will challenge the Bible. Hallelujah. It is the book that has been read years and years. Others come, they are read, they are kept in the library. But for the Bible, it continues to be read. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So it is not mythical that the Israelites were read out of the sea. The greatest manifestation of the power of God. Hallelujah. If time would have allowed me, I'll talk about many experiences in the Old Testament where God displayed his power. Praise the name of the Lord. I would talk about Elijah, who for three years and a half, he held the heavens. The Bible says, by my word. Elijah says, by my word, there will not be any rain. But that word, it is because he was delegated the power by God. Praise the name of the Lord. And for three years, there was no rain in Israel. Hallelujah. And then he says, call for me. Uh -huh. King Ahab, I want to talk to him. Because there will be rain in Israel. When the three years that he had said came to be. Hallelujah. If I had time, I would talk about how the power of God had been displayed in the old covenant that he had with Israel. He is our king. Hallelujah. He is our king. When God created, he did not create the existing matter only. He also created a spiritual kingdom. He also created a kingdom that he was preparing so that at the end, he will have his people. He will have, have his holy kingdom. Hallelujah. And a time came and God saw, I need to inaugurate the kingdom on earth. And he sent Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. The coming of Jesus was to inaugurate the powerful kingdom of God that is not only physical but spiritual. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 4 and verse 17 we can have it. Matthew 4 verse 17 the Bible says repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Jesus came to proclaim the kingdom of God on earth. Amen? Amen? He came to declare the kingdom of God. Now, this kingdom did not just come. It was not just another weak kingdom. He came to bring a powerful kingdom here on earth. If you read the Bible in the book of Matthew, and you go underlining everywhere that is written the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven, Jesus mentioned about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God more than 50 times in the book of Matthew. It is a clear indication that what he came to do and to talk about is about a kingdom. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus came to talk about a kingdom. And how was this kingdom? How would people know that a kingdom has come? Because he's saying the kingdom is here. Hallelujah. Jesus came to display the power of the kingdom of heaven. Praise the name of the Lord. 
Jesus displayed the power. He displayed the power of the kingdom that he was representing. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus, the Bible says in Matthew 7, 29, that they looked at him and they were amazed because he taught with authority. Hallelujah. The kingdom that Jesus came to, to, uh, to represent, it is the kingdom of power, and therefore, as he spoke, he spoke in the same power. He taught in authority. Hallelujah. I want to tell you that power is influence. Praise the name of the Lord. Whoever has power is influential. And when Jesus came, he influenced all that was around him. Even the people who did not like him, he influenced them. They are the same people who are reporting that he taught with power, he taught with authority. Hallelujah. When you have the kingdom of God inside you, you are an influence to those who love you and to those who do not. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You influence them. Anyway, anyhow. Hallelujah. Jesus influenced. He influenced his friends and he influenced his enemies. Hallelujah. Jesus also influenced. Or he had the power in doing miracles. Jesus showed the power of God by performing miracles. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. Hallelujah. He calmed the storm. He did things in order to show the power of God. If Jesus had not shown the power there is in the kingdom of God, perhaps many people would not have followed him. Amen? But he had to show the power of the kingdom so that as he talks about the kingdom, Many people are going to be, were to be influenced positively and they follow him. Jesus showed this, pray the power of God even by commanding. Jesus displayed the power of God by his abilities. There before, there had never been any other man who turned water into wine. Hallelujah. Say ability. Divine ability. Jesus displayed divine ability. Hallelujah. That is power. Hallelujah. That is power. So when Jesus was here on earth, he displayed the power of God. And uh, in his three years, he taught his disciples. He called them to himself. Praise the name of the Lord. And if we read, um, I, I will tell you where that verse is. If you read, um, uh, when he called the disciples, he told them, I have given you authority. The very first thing he told them, I have given you what? Authority. Authority to go and preach. Authority to be my witnesses. What is authority? Authority is what? Power. Praise the name of the Lord. He's telling them, I have empowered you. I have given you the power to go and preach. He called them so that he, they may be with him. And then he gave them the power. Praise the name of the Lord. And a time came when now Jesus, he had inaugurated the kingdom and he was to go back to the Father. And in Matthew chapter 28 and verse 18, I want you to look at that. Matthew 28 and verse 18. <laughs> Matthew, very good. And Jesus came and spoke to them. This is towards the end of his ministry. Jesus came and spoke to them. Look at that statement. All authority 
has been given to me in heaven and on earth. All authority. What was Jesus telling them? I have the power. Praise the name of the Lord. And the power is stamped in heaven and on earth. Jesus was telling them, I have power to influence the heavens and the earth. Praise the name of the Lord. All power, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Can we move on to the next verse? Uh -huh. Look at the wording of the next verse. Go therefore. The word therefore means what? It comes after an introduction of something. Right? I have this and this, therefore. So when Jesus is saying, go therefore uh -huh, and make disciples of all nations, what strength did the disciples have to go therefore? It is the authority and the power Jesus had been given. Praise the name of the Lord. He's telling them, go in the same authority. Praise the name of the Lord. Go make disciples of all nations. Hallelujah. What was Jesus doing? He was delegating the power. He had been delegated the power by God the Father. Now he's delegating the power to the disciples. And he's telling them, I will no longer be with you. But power and authority is given to me in heaven and on earth. And therefore, go. Hallelujah. I think if there are people who are supposed to go in with a lot of, uh, with a lot of uh, you know, you feel you are confident, it's a Christian. Because you have been given power. You have been given authority. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus did not leave you weak. Jesus did not leave you a weakling. He did not tell you to go and fight battles where you are going to be fought and killed. He gave authority and power. Hallelujah. Just like people from superpower nations. Even us. I don't know which word we are going to tell to say of the kingdom of God. Because now they have taken our title supernatural nations, superpower nations. Hallelujah. But we can say we are extra, extra superpower kingdom. Hallelujah. So when I walk, I walk with authority. When I talk, I talk with authority. When I move, I move in authority. Hallelujah. Because Jesus told me, authority is given to me. Who is he telling? He's telling his followers. Therefore, be confident you are following somebody who has authority and power. Praise the name of the Lord. Then in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. The Bible says, look at that. Can we all see it? Can we all read it? Read it. One, two, three. But you shall receive power. Hallelujah. But you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has, has come upon you. Amen. Let us read up to there. But you shall receive power. Can we say, but I shall receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon me. Woo, hallelujah. This is a promise by the mighty God, King of Kings, our Lord Jesus Christ, who never lie. Amen? He said you shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. The disciples were with Jesus and they felt him externally. They knew him. They witnessed his power. A time came and Jesus now was about to go. And he needed to endow them with the power that he has. And I told you, the power of God is in it. I don't know whether we can have that sparing. In it means inside, inside of him. Hallelujah. So Jesus wanted to give the disciples the same power inside. The power we possess as Christians, we do not possess power because of external factors. Hallelujah. Do 
not judge me by the car I drive. Do not judge me. Do not judge the power I have by the way I dress. Do not judge the power I have by my outward looks. Hallelujah. The power I have, it is inside. Woo. Hallelujah. Don't judge me with the outside. As Christians, we have been given the power. Praise the name of the Lord. And he says, and you shall be my witnesses. And you shall be my witnesses. Matthew said what? All authority has been given to me in heaven or on earth. Therefore, go. And now here the Bible says, you shall receive power. And you shall be my witnesses. Hallelujah. The word witness may mean many things. Witness can mean testifying. And I think we have, we have taken the meaning of witnessing only as talking. When we are going out to talk or to evangelize, we think that is the only meaning of the word witness. But I want to tell you today, witnessing is not only the talking part. I have told you to look at the other person. Right? And I've told you, that is display of God's power. Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, Jesus was saying, when you receive power, you shall represent me. You shall be a witness of my power. So wherever I go, hallelujah, by my doings, by my, by my, the way I talk, by everything, I will influence everybody around me because I have been given power. Praise the name of the Lord. Witness is about you, people looking at you, and they say, and we see Jesus, and we see God. Hallelujah. The Bible says when the disciples, when the apostles started to preach and doing a lot of miracles, people looked at them and they said the way they teach, the way they do things, this must be followers of Christ. And they were called Christians because of what people saw. Hallelujah. People see the glory of God in Christians. We are the ones who are supposed to display the power of God in our days. People ought to look at me and say, and that lady is a Christian. Because she's walking under the influence or she's bringing the influence of God in their lives. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Before maybe I come to the uh, end. I want to say this. Power is, power has, we have four major powers. Power in the Bible. Now, in the, in the English translation, transla translations, they, they interpret all these three, four types as power, but the Greek is more specific about what power they are talking about. I want you to know, English borrowed a lot from Greek. Amen? Hey, hallelujah. English borrowed a lot. You, call, you talk of anthropology. You, saw, you know what is anthropology? It is the Greek word of anthropos, which means man. Right? So Greek has borrowed a lot. Uh, sorry, English has borrowed a lot from Greek. And Greek, Greek is more specific. When they are doing or they are, they, are, they are reading or they are writing something. And one of the powers I want to say God has given to us is the power in divine ability. And in Greek we call it koa. I want us to look at Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 8. Verse 18, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. And it says, and you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth. 
that he may establish his covenant which he saw to your fathers as it is this day. Hallelujah. Whose father, who are these fathers did, did God swear, uh, swear, uh, swear to? It is Abraham. Can you tell me how was Abraham? He was a rich man. Praise the name of the Lord. He had much, much more until he would give his tithe to a king. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God gave him a lot of wealth. The Bible records there was no other man that was as rich as Abraham in his time. Look at Isaac. The Bible says Isaac, when the father was, was, was dead, he went, and he went into the Philistine land and he found the wells that the father had dug. They had been now... The, 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 the Philistines had, had already uh, covered them. And whenever Isaac went and he dug the well, the water gushed out. And there was a lot of farming. The, 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 there was a lot of, there was a lot of uh, uh, wealth with him. The Bible says he became exceedingly rich until the Philistine told him, you're going to get out of our place. Amen? Because you are about to start to rule us. Hallelujah. The Bible says, for I, for it is he who, the Lord, who gives you power to get wealth. It is God who gives you ability to produce. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is power. Christians, we ought to we ought to go to God and ask him to give us the power to produce that whatever I touch with my hand, it brings forth. It is his promise. Hallelujah. It is he who gives us power to get wealth. Why? So that he may establish the covenant that he had with Abraham, with Isaac, with Jacob. Praise the name of the Lord. We ought to the abilities that we ought to, to show and the influence that we ought to show is that in your, in your way of life, that, that area where you work, you produce, praise the name of the Lord. I as a teacher, when I am in that school, let my profession, in my profession, in my skills and my abilities, let the power of God is, be displayed. Praise the name of the Lord. Let the power of God be displayed. In your area of everyday chores, everyday work, whatever you do, let the power of God be displayed. Why? So that he may receive the glory. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The second power, it is uh, the power of authority. And this is what I was saying in Mark 3, verse 13 and 15. Mark 3, 13 and 15, the Bible says, and he, uh, sorry, sorry. Yes, and he went up on the mountain and called to him those he himself wanted. And they came to him. Can you go to the next one? And then he appointed 12 that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach. Verse 15. And to have power to heal sicknesses and to cast out demons. Praise the name of the Lord. Power of authority. Christians, we need to display the power of authority. Praise the name of the Lord. These are not supposed to go to mess around where we are. And they go unnoticed. And it is as if there's nobody who has an influence over those things. We need to speak with authority. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to speak with authority. The word we, we speak, and even whatever we do, people should realize there's an authority. You cannot see people fighting and you look at 
the situation just like that, as if you are as helpless as they are. You cannot see things going wrong in the place where you are, and then you leave them to continue as if you have no authority. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. We need to have authority. We need to show the authority. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the power we call in Greek, exousia. And then we have the, now, the one that was read for us in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. And that is the miracle working power. And this is dunamis. And I, I, I want to feel and I want to think that dunamis may represent other types of power because it comes from, it is, it's the English word uh, dynamo. I think when you feel, we, we hear the word dynamo, dy, dynamite, we are thinking of great power that can shake. Praise the name of the Lord. And when you look at the disciples of Jesus Christ, they display this power. Amen? They display the power. They spoke, they preached in power and in authority. And even the, the Bible says, when Paul and Cyrus were put in the, in the prison, the prison where they were, it shook. Why? Because there was a presence of the dunamis. The power of God. The power that works extraordinary miracles. Hallelujah. We are not supposed to be threatened by people who come to do some several things. Uh, we, have, we have witch doctors. They come and do their, their, their silly things around and you feel as a Christian, as if you are written by that. In you, there is power. Hallelujah. You have dunamis. Praise the name of the Lord. Release it in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, one of the things I was realizing is that every time the power of God, God was released, the Bible says, and people were in a way. And people were afraid. Uh -huh. And fear caught people. Hallelujah. Because the power of God had been released in situations. Praise the name of the Lord. I thank God. Because I walk in the power of God. I remember one time. When I was a form, a form 6 liver. A certain girl came to our home. And... Uh, to, she was born again, she was in our church. And she told me, there are people who are coming to our area. Actually to my own home. And they are telling my parent, we have been bewitched. So they are coming to, un, uh, to unbury the, 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 the things that have been put into our, into our shamba. Somehow, some way, I said, let me pray and fast. And tell me the day they are going to come. I prayed, I fasted. I asked other people to join. The rest we are afraid. But for me, I just went. I made sure I went early enough. They were coming at night. So I went at around six. And we were there fellowshipping with the girl. And at around nine, the people appeared. I want to tell you, I was young. And these are men that were old older than me. But the power of God was in that house. When they came, they did not even face me. They came looking like this. In fact, if there were things that were on the way, they would have been uh -huh. they, 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 they would have been hit by those things. They came and they sat. And when they sat, now when they seated, they got seated. Of course, we were now at the same level. So now I could be able to face them. And I had a moment with them. And I told them, the power you are using, it is not the power of God. Praise the name of the Lord. It, you are not using the power of God. And let me tell you, that was the last time. They never went to the Shabbat. 
They never removed anything from those Shabbos that evening. Hallelujah. And that was the last time they ever stepped into that homestead. Praise the name of the Lord. Why? Because we have dunamis in us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, don't know how, we do not need to be shaken by other people that are coming to display their powers and their, their powers from demons. Hallelujah. The Bible says in, in Matthew 16 that Jesus went into the heads and got the keys. Praise the name of the Lord. And he handed the keys to us. Praise the name of the Lord. We have authority and power. We have power that works miracles. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't have to be that measured by people whose authority has been stamped by Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. I walk in the power. And lastly, we have the power that we call Kratos, and that is the power of dominion. Hallelujah. We have the power of dominion. We have the power of inference. Praise the name of the Lord. We have the power of inference. Look at 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse 20. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. We are known. I will want, I will want now to put the word inference under this part of dominion. That we have been called to be influential. We have been called to take dominion. When we say take dominion, what are we saying? Be influential. Praise the name of the Lord. In your area of operation, in the spheres of life, be influential. And Christians, we have been called by God so that we may show the power. We may display the power of God. We may be influential wherever we are. A kingdom is known by its influence. Can I repeat that? The kingdom, the power of a kingdom is known by how much they are influential. Amen? You can test that statement that I have talked about. Look at the super, superpower nations. Today they talk something and we all bow down. Why? Because they are influential. Praise the name of the Lord. The, the power of a kingdom is known by inference. And we need to be people of inference. I am saying this. From this day, henceforth, we shall not walk in fear. We shall not walk as people who are weakling. Praise the name of the Lord. Because we are in a kingdom that has power. We ought to have influence in our families. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We ought to have influence in our families. Let our families know there is God that we serve. When you go home for meetings, ask for that position to pray. Even if you're not going to ask to be told to talk anything else, tell them I'm here to pray. Hallelujah. You are bringing the influence of the kingdom around your people. Praise the name of the Lord. Do not go for family meetings and people just walk out without prayer. Tell them I'm here. Hallelujah. I am representing a kingdom and I want us to pray. And you, when you pray, you say, God, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done here on earth as it is done in heaven. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. We ought to have be influential even in our economy. You know, economy is also another area of power. Praise the name of the Lord. And Christians, as we have read, that God is the one who gives power for us to be able to produce wealth. In our areas of working, in our professions, in our businesses, we need to be influential and bring godly influence in what you are doing. Amen? If the worldly, they believe in, 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 uh, in giving bribes, 
Christians should not bring bribes. Praise the name of the Lord. Let people know that this is a, a, a business for a Christian and we do not do A, B, C, D. Bring influence, kingdom influence in your business. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us have this, uh, the influence even in other spheres of, the, the spheres of influence in the society, like the media. And for here uh, at this juncture, I want to say, and I want to be proud, and I want to praise God for our brother Ezekiel Mutua, my friend. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He has stood for the kingdom. In our media, he has stood for the kingdom. And he has said there's, that we should not have dirty things that should be put into the media. Where are the Christians to create cartoons that are godly? Where are the Christians to create substance in our medias? Praise the name of the Lord. That is an area of influence. And I think it is a high time I challenge Christians in Kenya that we may come up and we start influencing the world in that area. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Today our children are always with the phone. Whatever they think, whatever they do, it is all an influence of the media. I ask where the men and the women of God, that God has given abilities in the area of media, in the area of IT, in the area of producing, whatever it is, we need now, uh, uh, we need now, an, uh, an, is it an app or something that is Christian? Amen? That we do not deal with Facebook, where we do not have ability to check what our children are doing. Things like Instagram, things that are like, I'm not saying that we, we monitor them so closely, but I'm saying where everyone can go, you are getting socialized as well as getting the kingdom influence. Praise the name of the Lord. Let us take Jesus in every area of influence. In our areas of residence, as a Christian, you ought to show Jesus Christ. You ought to display Jesus Christ. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to ask, what kind of life have you been leading? What kind of influence have you been giving to the people around you? Have you shown that you carry a king of kings who has power? Do you walk like a child of the kingdom, the kingdom that has power. Do you carry your things? Do you portray Jesus? Do you display the kingdom of God? Let me, uh, let me tell you something. The kingdom of God is not what is taught by others that there's a kingdom somewhere, somewhere, where, you know, where we are all going. So today we can, we can be in problems, we can be weak, we can be whatever. When we reach in heaven, we shall be rich, we shall be glorious, we shall be... No, Jesus said, the kingdom of God is... The kingdom of God is where? When? Now. Praise the name of the Lord. So the time to be in friendship, it is now. The time to walk in the power of God, it is now. The time to show the God's glory, it is now. Praise the name of the Lord. The kingdom of God is not in words, but in power. The kingdom of God, yes, it is good to testify and say you are a Christian. But after that word, people want to see power accompanying you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord endow you with power. May Dunami's power be your portion. May the exosia power, power of authority, be upon you. In Jesus' name. May the power of divine ability be with you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord be with you. And walk in the influence of the power of God. Amen.
put your hands again. Let's appreciate such a powerful teaching. Amen, amen, amen. Sometimes you, you flow in the unfolding of the scriptures and you feel like it should continue like a workshop, like a seminar. Praise the Lord. Tell your neighbor there is power in the God I believe in. Hallelujah. It's powerful. We, we need to discover more of this. I know she's coming in the Kiku service to, to, to bring it even clearer to all of us. But I want to say, when there is power, it is important to benefit from that power. Praise the Lord. I, I did know that uh, when you look at it from that dimension, that is not because of what's around you. It is the power in you that God has inserted in you. Amen. No wonder a baby can rise up today and start doing miracles. Because it's not the size. It is not the tallness or the shortness. It is depending on the power. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless us. I saw this morning, and I was trying to relate with this when I was teaching in the radio, the man Jacob, having stayed in Mesopotamia for 20 years, he must have lost the right to occupy Canaan to the hands of Esau. Esau did everything in the absence of Jacob. Esau did everything, got rich, got wealth, but when Jacob came, imagine, Esau had to pack and leave. But if you look at the background, God of heaven has never been seen talking to Esau, but he was talking to Jacob. I'm telling you, it is that power, that God who is working with you, that gives you influence. Esau could not say, Jacob, menikuta apa. No, it, this is my right. You went. You did this to me. But he had to pack and leave. Because the one who is under the influence of the power of Jehovah, the power of the covenant has come. I declare in Jesus' name, may we take this power of influence. May we be influential. And I announce in the name of Jesus, whoever is sitting on your lad, let them vacate because the grace of God is upon you. Whoever is sitting on your right, on the right of the covenant, may they vacate. Let's stand on our feet, please. I want us to close before we give. It's good to say a prayer. Believe that. Oh my goodness. I like the Bible when it is flowing. Praise the Lord. This church has become the Bible church. Whereby the word, the word, looking from Genesis 1, you are coming to see even up to Corinthians, you are seeing power. You can see what the word is having for us. May God give us grace. Lift up your hands. I want us to say a prayer in the name of Jesus. Just open your heart, even in a single minute. Can you tell God to help you to walk in this power, to walk in the dynamics, to walk in all the powers, the exhaustion. It is good to believe that as we believe God, as we walk with him, we'll be able to display this power. Not for our glory, but for the glory of God. Yes, you shall receive power when the Spirit of the Lord cometh upon you. Father, we declare this is our thirst and our hunger that we may have the power, the power for your glory, the power to do that which you've called us to do. Father, I declare even the power to preach this word with authority. The disciples asked you that you may empower them again, that they may preach without fear. Mighty God, in the name of Jesus, I declare right now that where you've wanted us to be, if we have been limited because of being powerless, I declare a new release 
a new release of authority, a new release of power, a new release of divine ability in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, give me power. Release your power. Release your authority over my life. I need this power to glorify you, to do things for your kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we give you praise. We worship you. We honor you, God. Father, I want to pray that your people under this voice, having sat under the grace and the anointing and the influence of that word, let your people be empowered. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare right now, we shall not walk in weakness. We shall walk in strength. In the name of Jesus Christ, you've promised to renew the strength of them that wait upon you, of them that are continuously serving you. I declare in the name of Jesus, let there be power renewed in us. Yes, in the things that we are waiting upon you to do, show us your power in the name of Jesus. Show us your power. Our God, for power belongs to you. We desire to walk in this strength in the name of Jesus Christ. You say that you have given us the keys, the keys of the kingdom, and whatever we bite on earth shall be bowed in heaven. Whatsoever we lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Father, we take this grace, we take this anointing, we take this power, we take this ability in the name of Jesus and we are taking this power into our homes we are taking this power into our residences we are taking this power into our offices into our companies into our businesses into our nations in the name of Jesus we say we are powerful because we are holding on to the word of the most powerful God of heaven, the creator of heavens and earth. When we lift up our eyes unto the hills, we don't see our help on the hills, we see our help from Jehovah God. Thank you, Father. We bless you and we honor you. We also pray that you bless the speaker of your word. Continue, Father empowering, strengthening Pastor Rehab. May the grace of God continue working within her and may your word through her reach many in this nation and other nations. Father, we give you praise and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want us to do our giving. It's good to give. And let's also give with the power. I, I like that, that I would he, he gives us power to create world. What a powerful influence. It is very important to know for sure, and I've said it more than once, one of the difficult things to do is to try and influence somebody whose money is more than yours. Trying to influence somebody whose money is more than yours. I hope you are getting me right. You can, but it's not easy. And so when God talks of economic power, let's stand on our feet as we give. Prepare to give. It is very important to believe God to empower us. Because many people will always put you down when they know they have cash and you don't have. For the body of Christ, may God empower us. And you know, the wealth of silver and gold belongs to the church. It is actually for the sons and daughters of God. It's only that the world, craftly, has gone ahead. And that's why Jesus was very unhappy when he was saying, the sons of darkness have become wiser than the sons of the light. May God help us. Praise the Lord. That dominion, that influence, it is the dominion of actually kingdom means king's dominion. 
So if we are with the king, let's carry the dominion. Tell your neighbor, look at your neighbor, say, I refuse to be poor. Yes, I will not choose to be poor. Just say it, I refuse to be poor. Some of you are so spiritual, you are seeing heaven, you don't want to see. I, well, let's pray before I draw. Father, in Jesus' name, I declare right now that your people shall remain blessed. May the word that we have received, even the power to create wealth, Father, give us that ability. Yes, we may not have money at the moment, but if we carry the power to create wealth, Jehovah, we are moving forward and we shall see it manifested. I pray that God, you meet the needs of your people, even as they prepare to drop their gifts in the basket. I pray, Father, may heaven prepare also to release whatsoever they need. Remember people here with the school fees of their children. Remember people here with the food they need. Remember your people, Jehovah, with the transportation they need. Whatever they are asking for, even capital for business, we declare right now under the grace and the anointing that the word has reached unto us, may they receive open doors and opportunities. Father, I declare as we give, we are blessed both in the cities and in the countryside. We are blessed in our going out and our coming in. And every store we own, every treasury, every bank account we own shall not run dry. For this is your promise for them that trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. May you drop your gifts unto the Lord. The Lord bless you so much.